Okay, let's get started. So, you see all those um, bookshelves, basically. Uh, let's grab the smaller one, for example. So, I copy them. Open a new map. Putting it in here. So, now you can see this. Then just save it into whatever. Uh, let's call it presentation. There. Baby rage. Why baby rage? <laughs> Can you still follow it? <laughs> Just tell me if I'm too fast for you. Okay, now that I have this in a separate world, I open the object viewer. Let's see, I don't know. Uh, ah, yeah, that was part of NEM's tools. Uh, let's see, can I send it? File again. Should have it somewhere on my stick. Uh, oh yeah, I can send it straight away. Okay, yeah, let's open it. And then where is the map? Where do I have it? Here is it. Okay. Now, this is the file I just made with the model. I put it in here and that should load it automatically. It should, yeah, there we go. Here it's right click to navigate a bit through and PSAD basically. Yeah, so you can see the model. Here you go to export. See what did you write? Okay, thanks. Oh. By the way, you can still re rewatch this part later. I think I will turn it into a highlight and then put it up somewhere <laughs> separately. Rewatch <laughs> the whole miser miserable thing. Okay, then call it present. Station. And this creates a blended uh, object, no, an object file. And it is over here. Okay, and an MTL. Good. Now that we have that, pick up like this. Open Blender. This block just left click and delete. And on the top left, go to import object or dot object or also called wave front. And then you have to go to wherever you saved it, presentation, and there you go. It is, of course, turned the wrong way. What you can do is on the left rotate, then you grab the red one and hold uh, control. Then you spin it. I think that should be. Yeah. No, not really. <laughs> Oops. One. 
good. Now it's flat. Now that you have that, you can uh, you have to make sure that you have the plugin installed. Let's see, preference, and here it should be the source. Blender source tool. That one I also have somewhere. Let me check. Get over here. And uh, da, 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 da. Mm, the tools. And do I have it? Doesn't look like it. Damn. In that case, let me grab it. Then I'm not just, uh, okay. Here you can download the zip file for Blender for that specific tool. Uh, yeah, just save the file. I will also save it on <laughs> to my dick. Uh, <laughs> because I couldn't find that shit. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not that big actually. Uh, just... There you go. Okay, and then... No, I closed it by accident. Great. Back here. Now have to go to install and then wherever you saved it obviously i have it on the tools and then the zip folder then you say install add-on i don't do it because i already have it and don't want to fuck it up <laughs> so when that's done you should have under the point scene properties this area here. Over here, let's call the collection station as well. Just to have it, go to SMD. And then over here, you select a path again. I select my models folder over here. Click accept and then export. That sends the whole thing. Over to this folder. Now you can see the presentation dot SMD. See what the other guys are writing. So funny. Okay. Uh, back to where we were. So the next thing you need is the uh, QC file, basically. Then I send you over an example, or my example, actually. And in here you have the folder. Here again. And uh, just rename those basically, those two, for whatever folder you are going to use. 
And you have to rename. In my case, it's pumpkin. You have to rename it to presentation. In my case, or this example. Yeah, good. And then basically say just to keep this example for example <laughs> this example for example <laughs> i'm laughing about it yeah it's funny and then you call it presentation dot qc i will just undo my changes for my presentation example i want to uh no my, my example file just want to keep that because it's still working. <laughs> I could rename any other file. <laughs> so now that you have uh, those two files, you have to put it in here basically. This bat it up contains this text basically. Over here, that's the path to your um, to your Steam library, basically. I have it on my G partition. So for you, it's basically... Uh, let's open this up. This one. I just sent you... I will send you this file. And you can rename it or call it whatever you want. I just have it because on my laptop it's on the C and on my PC it's on G1. So now that you have that file, you pick those two and move it onto your lap, onto this one, the laptop basically. I do it on the studio mdl.bat. And then that creates the whole model. You see it goes rather quickly on my side. And then let's go back to the editor. This one. And then put just, just select uh, what's called an entity tool. Place it, double click. Prop underscore static apply. This is apply, not übernehmen. That's uh, because for me the program is partly in German. Whatever <laughs> reason that has, I didn't select it in German, but whatever. And here the world model you select. You can, yeah, I have a search filter on Varmint or Vami at least. And that already finds me these. But here you could also search for present. And there you have it. It will look like this from far away, but if you go in there or closer, see that it's um, it got a model. And let's grab this one and lift it up a bit. Yeah, here you can see the lines. It's actually a better view, personally. So, yeah, <laughs> you can see it is there, but it looks pink. It's basically just pink. Yeah, the only thing I don't have done yet is, uh, or I don't have figured out yet, is to how to apply a texture with this model instead of remaking it and then changing it that way and also the hitbox it's basically the whole cube wherever you try to enter here you are blocked by this side as if it's closed like this yeah but i will try to figure that out at some point i hope the instructions are clear for you. And also, I 
find it really interesting that uh, the tutorial I saw told me you have to put an engine in here, but I just do it without and it's just working as good as uh, without it. So either with or without it, it doesn't make any big changes in the end, I guess. At least not for me. Put it in the first couple times and then I was just annoyed because I had to copy it in all the times. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that explains it pretty good. Do you have any questions? <clears throat> oh yeah, let's put this in here just randomly. Um, pick my pumpkin. The one thing that I managed to make without it uh, having a missing texture. <laughs> An orange pumpkin. It's just plain orange. <laughs> yeah. I'm proud of it. <laughs> 